over here with Khalid Cole. Khalid, welcome to New York. Hey, we're here at the event that is going on, you know, right here, so many boxers. How you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. I'm excited, man. I love coming to these type of events, you know. It gets me motivated for my fight to go train harder, and, you know, and, and, and be up here next. Hey, what can I say? Congrats on every performance that you continue, you know, moving forward, moving forward. Now your division is, is pretty much intriguing. What do you think about, you know, that division that you're already in, you know, how it I'm works for you? I'm excited, you know, uh, there's a lot of guys coming up to the, it's bringing a lot of attention. Like guys like uh, Benavidez, we got uh, Morale, you know, uh, we got guys that's making a division brighter, you know, it's more competition. It's gonna be bigger fights, you know, and, and we're gonna we're gonna make them happen and get the fans that they want. Hey, intriguing, intriguing. Always, you know, the fights that happen, you know, that eventually promoters like Eddie Hearn and other, you know, promoters together, they making it happening. Of course, right now it caught my attention so much. This fight that is coming up, Arthur Betterview against Dimitri Rivol. How do you see this fight will go? You know, two warriors. Uh -huh. I see it going the distance. I see uh, the ball edging it out, you know, um, with the decision. Um, but that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a great fight, in my opinion. I feel like that's gonna be one for the books. You know, uh, we've been we've been looking forward to seeing this this this, this fight happen. You know, I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be something that's talked about for a long time. Yeah, definitely. I mean. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know June 1st when this fight you know happens we will see who's the best because I'm pretty sure they I mean this fight they're gonna unify all the titles and, and I bet you that you are one of the persons that wants to get you know a shot for a world title it's in your definitely, career definitely. it's in I'm your game plan aim, aiming for that you know that's in the game plan because I feel like I feel like that it's my time you know um and I feel like it's not, there's, there's nobody out there that can that can stop me from from, from, from getting from getting that, you know. And uh, right now we're just waiting to see how it goes and wait for our shot. Hey, I would say you know, head up, you know, my, take taking my hat off right in front of you because eventually all you guys, all you boxers, you know, definitely perform, you know, every every fight and give, giving us to the fight fans, you know, what we deserve and of course, you know, giving credit to all of you. Uh, when it comes to credit and, and, and all that, um, what's your thoughts on, on the fight that we just eventually, you know, saw this past weekend, Haney, Ryan um, Garcia? I was, I was, I was definitely shocked, you know, um, he shocked me as far as like, he, I thought he was, he was going through a lot of things, you know, he can't mentally, and he was, he was, you know, but just not the things I would, I thought was going on, you know, he fooled us. He had a game plan and he executed, man. You know, um, hell of a hell of a fight. Hell of those guys, hell of warriors. You know, uh, and I take my hat off to the guys. 140 division, you know, it's it's intriguing because now we have Rajo, uh, Jose Valenzuela against Isaac Cruz. Tell us your thoughts about this upcoming match. That's, that's I feel like that's gonna be a, a middle of the ring fight. You know, um, both of them guys are strong forward fighters. You know, um, um. Both of them guys coming off a knockout, you know, they have their, 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 their confidence and I feel like they're, they're, it's going to be, I, I feel like it's going to be um, a knockout. I'm just not sure on which end, you know, um, or stoppage or however, but I'm just not, I, it's definitely going to be a stoppage. It's a fight that eventually both fighters, I spoke already, both of them, they bring in everything because eventually they don't want to leave anything on the judges because sometimes, you know, judges, you know, don't really yep. judge you know, the right way. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So, and then they said that we're coming with everything. I was speaking with Roger. He says, you know, I'm training well for this upcoming fight. I know it is a, it's a test for me, but you know, I'm here to do my thing. And you know, we wish yeah, for definitely. both. You know, and with any with any fighter, you know, it's always this is the job at the end of the day. You know, um, another day in the office, you put that time in, you punch the clock, you get the job done. Exactly. Right around the corner, May 4th, you already know what I'm going to say. Munguia versus Canelo. What's your thoughts on it, on this card? Um, I love Canelo as a fighter, man. But that, that young boy, Munguia, you got to watch him. You got to watch him. Uh, he stopped fighter. Canelo couldn't. You know, um, that pressure, that, that, that youth that he has, and with that power, it's going to be a problem for Canelo. I definitely, you know, agree with you because I, I've been speaking, you know, with other, you know, boxers and coaches and everything, and I said Mugia has the hunger, 
has the youth. I'm not trying to say that Canelo has not the youth. He's not younger. Of course, he's still young, but you know, I think uh, this is the time for Mungia and Mungia. Um, you know, it's bringing everything. Even if he loses, you know, I'm not saying that he's gonna lose, but I think you know, it's it's a it's a war guarantee. Mm -hmm. And eventually. Also, you know, it's intriguing for me to ask you this question because I know, you know, like we haven't gave, you know, the whole credit to women's boxing eventually. Right now, Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, they performed in Madison Square Garden. Give us a great fight. They gave, you know, to the fans, you know, what they deserve. What's your thoughts on women's boxing? Um, I feel like we should give them some more credit. You know, um, they go out and they put their, their lives and their bodies on the line. They make the same kind of sacrifices we do, you know, and, uh, those two fighters are great fighters. I was I was actually on the undercard of that of that the first fight. You know, um, I love the fight. They had everybody on the edge of their seats. And I'm looking forward to, to seeing it seeing it happen again. You know, um, that was that that fight was historical, and I, I and, and I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same way. Hey. You know, I can't wait that fight happens, and of course, you know, um, let's continue to support women's boxing because eventually they, they need our, you know, our support because, as you mentioned, and I agree with your words, you know, they put in everything, they, they sacrificing as well, like the way you do, you know, so many things sometimes behind the scenes that we don't know. Yeah, people don't see, exactly. Until you, as, until you as a fighter speak, you know, to the camera, to the audience, or to the public, you know, the fans, and say, you know, I'm going through issues, you know, we already saw, um, let's, you know, with all due respect to Ryan Garcia, he, he, he passed and he walked, you know, through depression, and sometimes we, for, the fire, yeah. we forget, you know, about these things, and, and, and I say, you know, I like to remark and say, you know what, well, at the end of the day, they fire the human like us, but, you know, we got to give them credit. Any message that you would like to add to this interview before we wrap um, it up? Those who follow me, those who don't, you guys can follow me on uh, Kco underscore um, Kaleo Co uh, number one. And uh, fight date dropping soon. Stay tuned. It's gonna be another big one. Ladies and gentlemen, Kaleo with us from New York City.